Thank you so much. Good morning. Oh, no, good afternoon. I'm sorry, but uh, I was in the other room. And uh, anyway, we are still on time. Yes, Sometime it happens. Uh, I'm very happy to be here as invited uh, speaker because, uh, you know, this problem of uh, Morandi Bridge collapse is one of the disasters that happened uh, in the life. And uh, I must confess, uh, everybody is still uh, asking why. What for? Uh, what's the problem? And after almost six, no, nine, it's eight, eight months, there is no official answer the way it, it has been collapsed. So what was important for me uh, was that we have to keep the, the position of Ricardo Morandi as one of the best and the most important engineer in the last century. And uh, saying that they made a mistake or other things uh, seems to me not, uh, not correct. Our category as engineer was not, uh, in my opinion, not enough strong to defend the position. Therefore, I am uh, following these things in six months. And uh, I propose also some um, refurbishment, some uh, new construction of the part. And uh, first of all, I would like to show you who was Riccardo Morandi. Riccardo Morandi is very well known, but uh, it's very important to understand what is the complex uh, of this uh, designer. He made a lot of uh, bridges. He was very, very famous at that time. Uh, uh, maybe one of the three or four <laughs> engineers known all over the world as a bridge engineer. I had the chance to meet him somehow. 35 years ago, just a few years before he died. He was a fantastic person, even from a human point of view, which is very important because when you are designing, you put your heart, you have to keep your culture. You have to know that uh, the culture is not only scientific or technical, it's also humanistic. And without humanism, it's difficult to design real important things. I would like to start with this uh, bridge. Look at the dates. We are just right after the war. Uh, the, war the Second War uh, destroyed completely uh, Europe. And uh, in a few years, Italy became one of the most important countries, not only because they, uh, or we, our father, our grandfather, uh, built new bridges, but also because the Italian contractors and the Italian designer were just uh, all over the world. We are just here in South Africa. South Africa, 50, and now it's uh, 70 years old. And this bridge, you see, it's quite peculiar because you have a, an arch bridge and the connection, the vertical elements are not vertical, it's just inclined, it, which gives you a very important architecture feature, but at the same time, a stronger situation. Then you see how it has been built, because any bridge, when you design a bridge, you have to think how to build it. Otherwise, it's not a design, it's just a sketch. It's a fantasy. Another bridge is this one, and also this idea of uh, rotating the elements was quite interesting, you see, the dates are yeah, just eight years after the war. And this is the situation now, the water. You feel like if you had your leg cut somehow, but you can imagine what was before. Without imagination, you cannot design. Without fantasy, you cannot design. Design is not only keeping quality of the architecture and technical feature, it's also emotion. The bridge is talking, the bridge is uh, listening, the bridge is living. Another bridge which is very, very famous in Italy is this one. Uh, look at that. This is in the south of Italy, Catanzaro. Catanzaro is not a fantastic place, but anyway, uh, this is uh, a beautiful bridge. Look at uh, two, three things. First, the the connection point are just diverted. It means that he wants to show the couple 
bending was compression and tension. I, I used to be professor in the School of Architecture of Structural Engineering in Venice for 44 years. And for 24 years, I teach bridge design to the architects, which is a little bit strange, of course, but my, my architects are really good, and two or three of them are also part of my consulting office. Sometimes I have to fight with them, of course, because it's not very easy. Their fantasy is to be kept. But you see, this is the first thing. The second thing, the problem of slenderness is just put a triangle and the two triangle. So the hinge becomes the reduction of, of the slenderness. And this gives you also an image of architecture, very important. It means that here you see architecture and structure the same. You cannot distinguish one to the other. And it's uh, 62. Somebody in Italy said that after 50 years, the concrete bridges should be destroyed because the end of life, which is completely wrong. We have bridges in concrete which are 130 years old. I remember that in Rome, in the Risorgimento Bridge, 100 meter span, 1910, was world record. Another view of this uh, bridge, and during the night, because you, you know, lighting as a color is part of the heart of the bridge. You have to interact. The bridge is not an object, it's, an, it's a, a subject. You have to consider as living, telling you his history. What for? What the designer made, what the builders, what the workers. Nobody remember that was a contractor and workers and people that maybe died during the construction of that. So lighting is just a more emotion. It's like a romantic way. And I know that there are other people that go there during the night and they kiss themselves. The bridge is just a connection between to a person. The human bridge is the best one. Anyway. The best bridge you can imagine is between a man and a woman because it produces the life. And the kiss is a bridge. Some uh, details of how it being constructed, which is very, very important. When I was teaching in my uh, previous university, now I'm a rector of an online university named the eCampus, three, three years, and I still I have a, 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 a course on, uh, on bridges. <coughs> But I, want, I would like to have the contact directly with the student, otherwise to me there is no, no real concentration of the emotion of the things. And uh, I show always that you have to build, you have to imagine how to build, and you have to check if your idea of a construction is feasible. Feasible in an economic way, because at that time there was a competition, real competition. And the economy was one of the most important parameters. Now, unfortunately, for the bridges, as you know, all over the world, they prefer the aesthetics. They ask for architects. Sometimes they are flying. And when you kept them and you try to get their money, oh, yes, I, I was wrong. I suppose it cost one, but it cost five. I was... Uh, the Czech designer of Calatrava Bridge in Venice. I'm still alive after 15 years. It started with 2 million years. It finished with 10 million years. Nobody cared. If I do the same, they will, I will, they will keep my house and, and put me in prison. Then, these are the details. Look at the, at the shelters, how this is a piece of art. The piece of art, the real piece of art is during construction. Because you look, and that time there was no computer. And these things has no coefficient of safety because of economic reason. You have to take into consideration the deformation during pouring because it's heavy. So you are losing centimeter, sometimes five, six, even 10. And then you have to organize everything in such a way. And also the problem of shrinkage, variation of temperature, and so on. I don't enter too much into detail because I don't want to speak about technical things, but I would like to draw your attention to 
the fantasy of a man like this. And this is the very well-known Ponte di Maracaibo. Then it is in, uh, in Venezuela. Uh, they won a competition by economic. Uh, we have something like 220 meter span from one side to the other. You see how the system Strat, tie, strat and tie. This is very, very clear. It has been collapsed. A few years ago, there was a ship going to, the, to one of the pylon, an easily reconstructed pylon, and the part which has been collapsed. Why destroyed all the, all the bridge because it has been collapsed at one time? And this is, a, unfortunately, our... Polcevera. Polcevera is, uh, is very well known because Genova is known all over the world because of this bridge. Maybe you, we cannot agree totally because, you know, you are in a Harban area. But it's not a fault of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of Morandi. The, the problem is that the alignment was such, so he put the, the bridge over their houses. But he, 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 he was forced in such a way that now the landscape is made by the bridge. It's not changing. It's more than changing. It's another thing. And the Genoese people, before the collapse, say that we have our Brooklyn. Nothing to do, of course, with Brooklyn, because the system is completely different. But if a normal person doesn't make any difference between the Cab State Bridge, suspension bridge, and so it's just a bridge or viaduct. By the way, I'm trying since many years to say that bridges are only when they are nice. Otherwise, they are viaduct. <laughs> this is my position. I don't know if I will succeed, but uh, you see, after 44 years of uh, teaching and uh, discussing with the architects, uh, uh, my feeling is uh, half with the architects. By the way, 10 years ago, I got a honor degree in architecture for my bridge because I'm also bridge breeder. And I'm very proud of that. I'm sorry. The, because I know that the engineer doesn't like architects and vice versa. I think they all together they have to. This is a marriage to should be made. Anyway, uh, another bridge made by Riccardo Morandi in Libya, in Cyrenaica, it's uh, this one. Uh, I, I saw it. I was there by the end of the 70s, just a few, 10 years later. Uh, it has been refurbished. 20, 20 years ago, it was completely refurbished. This is the real perfect idea of inserting a bridge in a landscape. You show the power, the power of love, the love of Morandi for the bridge. Maskell, the power of engineering. And this is a very important point. Another view, this way, this uh, particular case of cable, which is very strange, never more, no more used afterward, because uh, it's a little bit complicated. It's, you have a tendons inside, then you have a, a, a concrete outside, plus pre-stressing. It was for economic reason. Of course, it needs maintenance, inspection, uh, all the things that we know now very, very well. But at that time, it was not very clear. The people thought that uh, concrete can stay for life, which was not true. This is uh, the, uh, the last bridge he made of this uh, time. Uh, this is in Colombia, it's uh, so-called Barranquilla. Uh, you see, it's uh, more elegant, to my opinion, because uh, the, the cables, the cable, the tendons, was a little bit uh, relaxed. And from uh, an aesthetic point of view, it's much better. Although the quality of design from a uh, structural point of view is not the best, because the more you have a vertical and the more you get, of course, uh, the efficiency of the structure. But sometimes, if you have to combine architecture and feature and a structural feature, you may find a kind of a compromise. The only thing that I don't like is uh, this, but at the time, there was no so importance given. I always say that in any case, that BC and AC is not before Christ and after Christ, but before Calatrava and after Calatrava for the bridges. Before Calatrava, the bridge was different. After Calatrava, the bridge was a little bit like Rigoletto, you know, very, very 
complicated than very, but he, he, he's an artist. If you want to buy something, then you have to buy, yeah. to, to pay another view of this uh, bridge. By the way, they are preserving. Now they are starting to preserve the, the, this bridge as a cultural heritage, which is another point, very, very important. Some details for that bridge I would like, this is the last one he made. And now they are building a new bridge because it's insufficient for the, for the dimension, of course, the traffic increase, but the quality of the bridge is not the the, the, so, so, so bad. Oh yes, there is this one uh, which is in uh, in Calabria, uh, Viadotto Carpineto. By the way, just uh, three weeks ago, I, well, I was with a train, and the train stopped for three minutes just looking to the bridge. I was admiring him, him, not him. Anyway, I come to Polcevera. I spent uh, half of my time, but. Uh, this is the, the, what happens uh, many, many years ago. Now, 55. The inauguration was uh, perfect. This was the symbol of the Ren Italian Renaissance after the war. We made the Autostrada del Sole in uh, six years. Now in six years, we got only the approval of the bridge. Everything has been complete, complicated. How it has been organized. The optimization of the quantity of the material which sometimes is in collision with the durability, of course, because if you have, if you reduce the size, if you reduce the cover, if you, uh, I mean, if you have the too much slenderness, then you may have the problem in the future. But here, the robustness is still present somehow, although there are Gerber elements, but I remember I was graduated exactly 50 years ago. The course on bridges, they told us you have to use Gerber because you are sure of the bending moment and the shear forces. If it is hyperstatical, then you don't control. But now, or oh no, just a few years later on, I understood that the robustness means also that you have to avoid joints, you have to avoid connection, and the continuity means quality also for the durability. Some other, these are just historical, historical, these are sketches. At that time, there was no rendering. So what you prepare is just people that were able to design the perspective, and this is one of that. And this is the problem with the houses. But these people were accustomed to have a bridge like this. There was not a big problem for them. The problem is now that they have to, to demolish everything with the asbestos inside. Then you, uh, this is the bridge. And uh, just to tell you that, uh, in, uh, there was an idea to demolish the bridge. I, this is contra uh, 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 absolutely against uh, my idea, but uh, some proposal was made. This one, I mean, the bridge of Morandi is a piece of art because it's unique. A bridge like this, you see now, 100, maybe 1,000. You go to China, in China, every step you find 10 bridges. I mean, there is a lot of bridges per square meter in, in China, to my opinion. I've been there many times, and we've seen also this morning with the presentation of the tunnel, but they, they show also some bridges. And uh, I'm sorry, it's in Italian somewhere. This is what happened. At around the mid noon, the bridge collapsed. You know that in Italy, the 15th of August, everybody is at home. No traffic, nothing. All Italy is stopped. Sometimes you have some difficulties even eating because the, the restaurant in the town are closed. So, and there was just 30 cars plus one truck. So practically void. No load, and it is collapsed. Now, no one is able to, to say why. I mean, all investigation, because we unfortunately we had 43 dead, plus a lot of damages you can imagine. So, I just, uh, I don't enter too much how it has been collapsed. I have some idea, if you want, I can answer to some question later on, but I don't want to spend more money, more time. 
let us look at this picture. This picture is very peculiar. I stop just a few seconds on that. Look on the right hand side. What you see, you see the creation by Michelangelo in Cappella Sistina. You see this Adam just getting his finger with the God. They don't touch. This is the creation. So to my opinion, this is the finger of Adam. He's waiting that God will solve the problem to connect as it is here. I know I am a little bit more poet, but believe me, sometimes my wife says that I am crazy but not dangerous. <laughs> I say that I am, I am dangerous but not crazy. I don't know. Maybe we, we can combine. I am both, maybe. She is here and she has the passion to support me. Just you can imagine that. I'm talking always about bridges. I say that bridges, if the bridges are women, I could marry it. And you can, she can be not uh, very happy. Anyway, uh, our proposal, because as soon as it happens, I say what the people need is to have a new connection immediately, as, as, as soon as possible. Why destroying? No, we have to refurbish. There was a very good idea to refurbish a very good possibility and build the new part of the bridge. By the way, this is the, the, the picture in the, in the abstract is this one. So widening a little bit. But uh, the decision was uh, completely different. I mean, at uh, around uh, 6 o'clock in the afternoon, say six hours after the collapse, the politicians said, we have to destroy everything this is the image of the tragedy. The Genoese people, they don't like uh, cable state. They don't uh, want this bridge. Uh, uh, we destroyed everything. One kilometer, point two meter. And then we rebuild. Three weeks later, Renzo Piano come with the maquette. And then it starts. Renzo Piano arrive and his capacity is similar to Calatrava. Finally, the competition was between Calatrava and Renzo Piano. Of course, we are in Italy, and Renzo Piano won, although the project is really ugly. I, I repeat, the project of Renzo Piano is ugly. You will see it. This was our proposal. It was completely independent. We say, we as citizens, with my uh, uh, co-worker, I said, I cannot pay you, but if you want to spend one month of your life, propose something. Then the idea was as follow. This was the part which has been collapsed. This is the idea. And uh, that part, that part. You see this V shape. The V shape is still here. Then this is an inverted V. It is an A shape. So the transition could be something like that, the plastics. And then the, now the most interesting solution for that span is the extra dosed, which is not so known as before. But if we remember a little bit the history of bridge engineering, you cannot forget Christian men. Uh, our proposal was that one, and uh, the new part could be widened. And then uh, I would support a little bit uh, this, uh, you see. This was a kind of provocation. We don't want to say, please, keep this project. I'm not Renzo Piano, of course. Uh, but if Renzo Piano could propose something of interest from engineering and architecture point of view, we, but he proposed just something which has nothing to do with the bridge. It was a footbridge transform it into a bridge with uh, 45 uh, lamps. I remember that, which has been cancelled and so on. And then uh, some other details. By the way, four people work for one month. They spend their time, they spend their money to do this. This is the real thing that everybody had to do in that case. It's a strategy. So this is the final proposal and uh, my interpretation you can laugh after, afterward, is I'm praying, please save us from these kind of politicians. Don't worry. 
we had a lot of other solutions just to show you that there was a series of solutions that could be interesting to be taken into consideration, but uh, unfortunately, not so much, I mean, because they decided to build an, a new structure. Fincantieri had to build it, which is a very famous uh, ship builder. They, they build a lot of br bridges, but bridges of ships, which is a little bit different from the bridge of our system. So this is another possibility to go ahead solving just the problem you want to demolish, okay, at least you use a part of the existing structure. You use the existing foundation, at least. You can cover 240 meters very easily, actually. So we propose also this one. I go, I go fast because I, uh, I want to, and this is uh, Renzo Piano. This was the original idea. You see the lamps, it's like obituary. So instead of uh, canceling the memory, he was just to remember every day the people. So even the family of victims uh, were against uh, this idea. The night, because of course the architects are very good, but even if we engineer, we can do the same. It's a matter of thinking to this part, not only to the calculation. This was a, a solution made by Cimolai with Calatrava, because a lot of people propose that. You see, it's clear, very, very clear Calatrava. And this is another way of dealing with the bridge. Another view. And this was, to my opinion, the most interesting solution. You want to demolish at least put 100 meters instead of 50 meters. And then you see how delicate is this connection between the pylon and the deck. I mean, here you see something connected with the fact that you know bridges, but and it costs 40 million euros less. Other solution, I go very, very fast just to show you that there are a lot of people, at least 10 solutions I show you, on, not only of them making a new bridge beside the other one because demolishing everything is a lot of problem. Can you imagine? The pylon is 80 meters high. They cannot use the blast because there are powder. It's difficult. They are still so in urban areas. You are not in, in, in a canyon. You are not in Wadi Kuf. And then the complication you have with this. By the way, the new bridge, they have to reduce the, the velocity because they, they are not able to, to connect in the proper way, this side and the other side. And this is the final solution of Renzo Piano. Now they cancel this because it's unsafe. If the lamp falls down 40 meters, it's like a bomb. <laughs> Uh, we made some, uh, some uh, confrontation. Uh, the Renzo Piano cost uh, more than three times. And this is the, the, the brusher of the refurbishing of the bridge in uh, Libya. Wadikouf Valley. How they build it. This is the loading test. This is how they solve the problem of uh, torsion and stiffness, which was not enough. And uh, finally, so I am uh, in time, I would like to show that sometime uh, the stupidity is not only our uh, problem. Uh, this was a bridge designed by Luigi Negrelli. Luigi Negrelli is not known, but he is the real author of the idea of the Suez Canal. Then Lesseps used the idea of Negrelli and he made the Suez Canal. Then they made the same uh, with, uh, with um, uh, Panama, yes, together with Eiffel. But if you look to the history, then the century. Uh, by the way, the Luigi Negrelli has a monument just uh, three kilometers from my small house in the mountains. So any time I go to buy the bread, I look to Negrelli and say, you are really a fantastic engineer because we have to be proud to be engineers, because the history 
of architecture is a history of engineering. And we are not accustomed as engineers to recognize it. We leave to the architects to, 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 to explain the history of our work. No. My point of view is that it should be compulsory in any engineering faculty to spend at least two or three credits for the history of construction. Not only the bridges, of course. Then, what happens? Yeah, 43. If in between 40 or 39 to 45, all Europe was completely destroyed. In Italy, 90% of the bridges were destroyed. So, you see a bridge like this, how you can imagine? Okay, I will rebuild this part. Uh, but uh, may I say something? The mother of the stupid thing is always pregnant. The, the, the stupid people is always pregnant. And this is what they proposed. May I say something? There are people that are proud of this. Can you imagine what is the meaning of to be proud of such ugly structure? Of course, nobody can remember what was before, but we are in Italy. I'm sorry to say this, but we have two and a half <laughs> millennium of history. The first bridges are just not from Romans, from, but from the Tuscany, the... Uh, but anyway, the Romans, Etruski, Etruski, of course. So any, 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 when, when you gain a war, you, you cancel what uh, has been done with the, the people that lost. So, okay, we want to be proud. Okay, we will be proud, maybe, to have uh, destruct completely the bridge of Morandi, substitute with an anonymous bridge. Okay, you can find uh, thousand of examples like this, instead of repairing and showing that the engineering is not only able to design but also to refurbish and widening, extending the life with a proper way, with a proper material, with a proper idea, even 100, 150 <coughs> period. In one uh, year and uh, less than 100 million, they could have everything solved. They will spend 300 million. Nobody knows when they build the new bridge because nobody knows when the destruction, the demolition of the bridge will happen. Final sentence, the problem of jury. There is a lot of interest there and the jury is not yet able to say you can demolish because this part of the court organization and uh, this is another say, who knows? My God. Thank you so much. <laughs> I was there, believe me, going there is something that uh, destroys your heart. I don't know how we, you, 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 can, you, you can be there and say, no, I, it's a nightmare. It's not the reality, but it happens. And if it happens, it means that it's not a nightmare, it's a reality. Uh, sorry, I am a little bit. Uh, thank you. See you later. Thank you. Well, please, Any questions? I think, I think we have time for questions. Uh, so if anybody would like to ask, uh, answer something, please do. I think the room is small enough. We don't need microphones. I I'm sure you want to know why it happens. Yes. <laughs> really? Yes. Okay, I tell you, 99% uh, is not the tendons. That, me too, at the beginning I said that the, the tendons, because you see, it's, it seems to be the weak point. No, it's much more than we can imagine as robust. Of course, there was a lot of, uh, uh, say, there was rust and so on, but the idea of Riccardo Morandi, he was a very good engineer. The robust was in his mind, he was not there. Uh, the point is that uh, there was a kind of uh, underestimation of the loads system. You remember? Maybe if you can come back, I can show you. Uh, can you? Okay, no problem. 
Yuri Me. No, no, if you can't, can't okay. Yes, yes, it's no, it's very, it's very nice because what I show you is uh, okay. I stay here. Oh, yes. You see, you have the load, and then you have, of course, the component which is horizontal, one side to the other. It's a perfect balanced. You have here the two strut, a couple of strut, the connection between the deck and the, 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 the pylon is not. So it is continuous. So this is a continuous beam on four span, uh, four spans, uh, so four uh, supports. Uh, these are fixed and this is elastic support. To my opinion, one of these uh, pylon collapsed. And uh, the point is that when you enter with this load, uh, the force, uh, you have a, a, a component <coughs> which goes ver almost vertical and this part. That part uh, in the original design is not enough uh, reinforced or pre-stressed, because everything is pre-stressed. Because uh, Ricardo Morandi supposed that the whole force uh, can go, so if it is bending and compression, you do not need so much uh, to be pre-stressing, because the pre-stressing is just uh, the natural one for the horizontal component. And uh, another point is, uh, just to show you here, in, uh, in, in case of Pochev, you are four of that, uh, the, there are some weakness in stirrups. At that time, stirrups were not considered so much important. Now, after the earthquake problem and so on, we increase the stirrups. I always say to my student to understand the reason why we put our stirrups. If you have a back, you are sick in the back, what do you take? Just some element. I don't know in English. It's just to, to protect. It is, you know, this simple example and let understand the architects who normally doesn't understand the, 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 I mean the equations. They understand really the, 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 the force, the flow force, and so on. This is my idea, but uh, everything is secret. In one week, we will have eight months of the date. And we don't know. Who knows? Thank you. Thank you. Other question? You have a question? You have a question? You are totally right. Uh, my point is that uh, it is our duty to, uh, to let understand the client that we, we can do ourselves nice things. Now, if you ask any client, if they want a bridge, nice bridge, he doesn't ask to an architect, an engineer, he asks for an architect. In some international competition, mainly in France, they ask for the architect to be the leader, which is completely wrong. And if we feel our capacity to show that we are able to, to do nice bridges, it doesn't mean that the bridge costs three, four, five times more. Sometimes, with the same amount of money, you can do very delicate things, not astonishing. I mean, and the culture of a territory is made by hundred and hundred small, medium span bridges of high quality. Not for one bridge, maybe made by Calatrava, or in that case, made by Renzo Piano. Uh, this is something that we have to take into consideration. Please, our future as engineer is to think also to the third component of the Vitruvian triangle, which is firmitas, utilitas, and venustas. Firmitas means safety, utilitas, functionality, venustas comes from Venus, beauty. Beauty is part of our life. 
We want to dress well, we want to eat well, we want to see nice places. Why? We don't think to the bridges as a piece of art. And it is the clear tone. Sorry. I can stay until tomorrow, you know. I'm, I'm like, <laughs> like the gas. I occupy all the room available. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, I, it, that's, that we can thank you. <laughs> and I will, uh, I will say something that I did not expect to say it, but when, when after uh, listening to you, I would like to, to say something that happened a couple of weeks ago. It was a student competition in France. Uh, bridge competition. They were uh, they were competing, and uh, a group of uh, our students, uh, civil engineers, won the first architecture prize for the bridge, the model bridge in that uh, competition in Saint Etienne. And at least two of them are here right now. So. I am job. very, very happy because really when you make a real competition, at least in our mentality, the engineers win. But they have to think also to the other part. Uh, the architects, they just put the sketches, once I remember, just to spend one minute more, one, uh, once upon a time, and a, a student came, showed me a nice bridge, but very complicated. He told me, uh, Professor, do you think that is uh, structurally correct? And I say, I'm not your engineer. You are the designer. I tell you how to check if it is OK or not, but not me. I'm not your slave. The engineer actually sometimes are the slave of the architects. Sorry. I, I drink because I spoke too much. <laughs> Is there any other question that would like to, somebody would like to ask? If not, I will finish this uh, uh, first, uh, uh, first presentation. Thank you again for a nice presentation. <laughs>